hello welcome back to my channel today i bring you a beautiful tutorial on how to make an off shoulder ruffle dress so for this off shoulder dress the upper part would have ruffles so i'll be using these beautiful fabrics to make it the upper part would have ruffles around the shoulder okay so like i said this is an off shoulder so for your off shoulder you either take away four to five inches from the shoulder okay so i'm doing 4.5 i'm taking out 4.5 from the shoulder so i'm placing my tape at 4.5 at the starting point of my pattern paper so there right there is the chest line so afterwards i'll mark the half length which is 15 plus half inch seam allowance to join the upper part to the lower part which is the gathered part okay so i'll just connect out all these lines now like i said the upper part is an off shoulder but it's also going to have ruffled gathered ruffles at the top so i'll be emphasizing on showing us how to make the off shoulder with the ruffles okay so this right here is my chest line and this is the half length so what i'll do now is start to take my horizontal measurement so on the chest line i'll take quarter of the bust measurement plus two inches allowance so quarter of the bust means dividing the bust measurement by four you know add two inches to my allowance okay so on the half length i also mark quarter of the waist measurement plus two inches to my allowance and one inch that allowance okay so the waist divided by four plus two inches to my allowance and one inch that allowance so i'll connect the chest line to the half length okay to get that All right so my bust pan that's the distance from one nipple to the other is 3.5 so i've marked that and the length of my dart is five inches okay so i'm just taking a normal waist that for this i'm not i'm not making a bust here it's just a normal waist that okay so i've taken out i've taken up my bust pan line to that five inches then i'll take half inch on both sides of the bust pan line okay and this would form my dart so i'll connect it to the bust pan line like so okay so this is that right so we'll just go and sew this okay so that's your dart now towards the shoulder area remember we've already taken out 4.5 inches from the length of our shoulder now to know the width of the shoulder okay that's the upper bust measurement or the upper chest measurement you're going to mark half of a shoulder measurement okay now the shoulder i'm working with is 15 all right so 15 divided by 2 give me seven inches so seven inches is half of my shoulder measurement now because it's an off shoulder i'll be taking a 1.5 inches from seven inches and that gave me 5.5 inches so the neck width i'll be making use of all the the upper bust at the upper bust is 5.5 inches i'm going to keep extra half inch for maybe um, folding the shoulder area the armhole or even using your bias to tip it okay so that's what that extra half inch is for so this is it for the front pattern of the upper body so we'll just cut this out all right so once you cut out you transfer to your fabric cut exactly this same pattern on your fabric okay then also transfer your dart then i also use this pattern to cut the back the only difference would be that i'll add my 1.5 inches zip allowance to it okay so this is the fabric i'll be using this part to cut the upper part okay so you just fold the fabric into two and you know place your pattern on it place a pattern on it and cut it out so you can see i have exactly what i have on the pattern i've transferred it to the fabric okay so the next thing will be to cut out the back so i've also placed the same pattern on a fabric that i was folded into two okay please note that the front was also folded into two it was also cut on fold right so i've placed this on another fabric okay this is to cut out the back and i've left 1.5 inches zip allowance before the center back okay so i'll also cut exactly the same thing i have on my pattern just that i added 1.5 inches for zip allowance okay so that serves as the back pattern all right so this pattern will just use to cut the front and the back it makes your job a whole um easy 
makes a, a whole difference okay instead sort of um, drafting different patterns so i also notch out the dart point okay that's to transfer the dart to the fabric so that when you're sewing you know that that's your dart point also notch the zip allowance so that when you're sewing you also notice that that's your zip allowance so what i also do next would be to open up the sides okay the zipper area because that's where our zip is going to go in so that place needs to be slashed open so that you can fix your zipper inside it all right so after doing this i'm going to just go ahead and go to my sewing machine sewing my dart use my bias tape to you know knitting the armhole then sew the, the zip allowance together then i'll take my measurements okay so i just go sewing the zip allowance together okay using a straight stitch a very loose stitch you can use the biggest stitch or the widest stitch on your sewing machine i'm just using my pin to hold it down so that you see what i mean okay so this is going to be opened later when we want to fix the ruffles but for now we'll close it up okay so you use the widest stitch on your sewing machine all right so stitch it all the way down so when you stitch it you go and iron it then go and sew in your darts then do the same thing for the front pattern sew in your darts then for the armhole i'm going to use a barrier tape to knit in the armhole you do it separately okay the left and the right hand side on the front pattern separately the same thing for the back okay then afterwards you go place the front pattern on the back pattern then sewing your two inches side seam allowance remember you can decide to f just fold in the armhole or use a bias tape to knitting it out so i'll just go do all these things and come back and show you what i have now before we do that this is my strip of fabric and i'll be using this for the ruffles okay one one is for the lower ruffles and this particular one right here on my table is for the upper ruffles that's around the shoulder area so what i did is to get i have two strips of fabric okay so and i'm joining it so the length is um seven inches and the width is going to be your round shoulder measurement okay times three or four inches so i have two pieces of, of fabric so when i join them together like so okay it's going to give me my round shoulder okay so if you have a straight piece of fabric you can use it mine came in half okay and i had to cut it out so that it would be enough so i would go join it join the strip of fabric okay so to give me my round shoulder measurements times three or four inches okay so i've also prepared the upper body so okay, as you can see i've sewn in the sides i've knitted the armhole with my bias tip you can see i've sewn in the zip allowance i've ironed it so it will lay flat i've also sewn in my darts i've over i've overlocked the edges and you can see everything in here is looking very neat okay i've also made sure i ironed my dart after sewing it all right so i'll turn it to the right side okay so this is the right side i've also ironed my stitches you can see so this is what it looks like so we'll go to the ruffles okay In, i've joined it and i've gathered it back to my round shoulder measurement however i've also overlocked the top and the bottom you can see my overlock stitches okay so what i did was to go gather that long strip of fabric i have i gathered it back to 39 inches which is the round shoulder circumference or the round shoulder measurement okay so i'll hold the front pattern and hold it together to notch the midpoint Okay, so that's the midpoint i also hold the ruffles together to get the midpoint okay i don't want to notch this so that i don't you know unravel my stitches so i'll just hold it down fold it into two like so and i'll hold where the midpoint is okay i'll just hold it so what i'll do would be to match the midpoint on the ruffles the midpoint on the front pattern just the front okay i picked only the front this is the front that i notched the midpoint okay so i'm attaching the ruffles the midpoint of the ruffles to the midpoint of the top okay in front so i'm using my pins to hold it down okay so what i'll do is to feed the ruffles on top of the front pattern okay from this from the midpoint to where my armhole would start from okay i also do it to the other side from the midpoint to the tip of the armhole okay 
so this other side here just hold it together you can see it's ending exactly at where my armhole is all right so after pinning it down i'll then turn it back turn to the back like so okay so make sure that the edge this is not going to get into your zip allowance okay but if you want it to get into your zip allowance that's left for you but i don't want mine to enter into the zip allowance so what i'll do is to place it at half inch after my zip allowance remember i've sewn in the zip allowance okay i've already sewn in the zip allowance and i've ironed it so it is why i did that so it doesn't get into the zip allowance so like half inch before your zip allowance i'm going to place the ruffle on the top okay so i pin it down so this extra part is where your arm is going to be okay where your arms would come out from that's the sleeve of the dress all right so i'll repeat the same thing to this side okay place the edge of the ruffles at half inch before your zip allowance okay then pin it down then do the same thing to the other side to you you know you get to where the armhole um, starts from okay so i also just got my pin and pin it down like so okay so if you're watching till now thank you so much for being here thank you for watching my videos god bless you for all the love and support all the kindness you showed me on this channel i do not take it for granted thank you so much right okay so i'll go to my sewing machine now before i stitch i'm going to go open up my zip allowance so that will be that will enable me so round okay so i'm going to stitch the ruffles to the top okay like i said open up your zip allowance before you do that so it's going to enable you stitch it down now this is the lower part okay so the dress length is 57 inches okay so i'm going to take away the half length which is 15 from 57 then add a, i'm half inch i'm in allowance the lower part and, ha and half inch joining the allowance for the upper part okay so that's the length i have here then the width is the waist measurement times three inches then plus extra three inches for zip allowance so what i'll do will be to go and gather this okay so that is it your waist times three inches okay that's the width of the fabric you can also add your three inches for zip allowance so remember what i said earlier before you go and join this you're going to rip apart your center back okay or your zip allowance but be careful when you're ripping make sure that you are working with a seam ripper please use a seam ripper to open your your seam if you don't just use your hands you can damage everything you've worked hard for so get a seam ripper this is my seam ripper use your seam ripper to rip your seams i have to go get a seam ripper just so that you can know or you, you see what i'm doing okay if you're careful you can use a razor blade to do it but try not to use your hands to rip it apart except the stitches are very loose and you're so sure of what you're doing right so i've gone to my sewing machine and i've stitched the ruffles to the top of the fabric so you can see my stitches you can see them okay so this is it i stitch it all the way round just like i i explained to us okay you can see it right so remember you can see i also opened up my zip allowance okay so that's what helped me to you know go and stitch it all the way round okay so this is it now you can see how the ruffles are although i overlocked the upper edge okay you can see i've overlocked it but you may not like it to be like that so what i would do is to come in with a bias tape okay i already have a video here on my channel on how to make a bias tape so please check out the video i'll drop the link in the description box so that you can check it out on how to make your bias tape okay so i'll use my bias tape okay all right so this is the bias tape so i would go place it right side of the bias tape facing the right side of my fabric okay then i'll stitch it with half inch all the way around then i'll flip it over and also use it to turn the neckline now before you flip over you trim off the excess fabric okay that's after stitching the bias to the top you trim off the excess fabric okay then you're gonna flip it over all right so i've done that 
okay so that has knitted the top of my dress you can see how beautiful it is right now okay so i used the, the same color i used for the upper bodies okay that's the color of bias tape i use okay i made my own bias tape i have the video here on my channel so you can see how beautiful and neat it came out to be i've also attached the ruffles okay i've also gathered for the waistline i've gathered the fabric around the waist okay you can see it and it's super beautiful so what i'll do is to flip it to the back side okay go and overlock the stitches at the half length all right so flip it to the back then merge the shoulder line and the half length merge it then from the half length i'll come down by excuse me by seven inches okay so from that point i hold it together and stitch it all the way down okay so stitch it all the way down to cover that point then i'll attach my zipper to the dress okay stitch it all the way down so from the seven inches to the upper part that, that that's part to be open so that's where you're fixing your zipper and that will be the end you have your beautiful dress okay so this is how it came out it's super beautiful i just need a uh, coaching on how to take beautiful videos and pictures okay as in pictures and videos are not doing justice to this beautiful dress okay i just need a course a detailed course on how to take videos like i make beautiful outfits but i have issues taking good pictures and videos okay so if you found this video helpful please do not forget to subscribe like this video share with your friends turn on your post notifications so that each time i post a new video you would see so till i come your way next time i love you bye